Hey guys, so today I want to tell you a little bit more about orange wine. So I'm sure that you've probably seen a little bit about orange wine around these days. It's actually grown in popularity recently and it's definitely showing up on a lot more websites and a lot more wine clubs as something to try out. So if you're still curious about orange wines, hopefully this can help you answer some questions. So what is an orange wine exactly? Well, we call it orange wine simply for the color, just like we have white wine, red wine, rosé. We also have orange wine, which as you can see is a little bit orange. Some will be actually a lot more orange color than this one. This one, I guess, is, is a little bit more golden. Um, they can also range to be this like copper color, which you might see out of Pinot Grigio coming from Friuli or Slovenia. But basically, an orange wine is a white wine. It is made with green grapes, white wine grapes. However, it's made in a different process than white wine normally is made. As we've talked about in previous videos, white wine is made where you press the grapes quickly and you separate the must and the juice pretty quickly and you ferment and make the juice into wine and you do whatever else with the must. Instead, orange wine is actually white wine that's been made in the same process as red wine, meaning it actually lands with a little bit more skin contact. They let the juices sit in there with the grape skins and with the must for a bit longer. This could be a few days, a few weeks, uh, it's really up to the winemaker. And by doing that, the wine soaks up some more of that color from the grape skins, um, as well as the process that it's being fermented in, it grabs more color and it actually produces these beautiful orange wines. When making an orange wine, producers do love a longer maceration period. They love a longer period where the wine is going to sit with those skins. The reason is because the longer that the wine is allowed to go through this maceration process, it actually creates a more complex and structured wine that it actually ends up being really interesting flavors to try. So, uh, something that's characteristic about orange wines is you will get some of the characteristics of the original white wine grape. However, with the added maceration time and the difference in the winemaking process, you actually get some different flavor characteristics in your orange wines. Most people tend to point out that orange wines sort of have a little bit of a funkier flavor. A lot of the times they have sort of an added nutty element to them. You also might see some more earthy perfumes on them. So for instance, this wine that I'm drinking right now is a Verdicchio. Uh, it's a wine from the Marche. And this one has been made with skin contact, but it also has been not filtered. So something interesting is if you take a look, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of stuff at the bottom there. So that should add some different flavors to this. In fact, when you smell, you get a little bit of a yeastier smell to it, which you don't normally get in just a filtered um, and simple verdicchio. So it's a very interesting flavor. So that is something to expect from your orange wines. However, some orange wines are made a little bit lighter with less maceration, so they could just be less funky and more close to what you're looking for. It really depends on your style and your wine drinking habits. So orange wines have become more popular in recent years with the natural wine movement, but they actually are a very ancient practice. In fact, we have records from the Romans that talk about their white wines actually having sort of an orange color to them and being fermented with the skins. So we know that this is sort of an older practice. And that's what makes it really interesting to check out is that you can sort of see the history of wine and see what wine was like and although they have been really brought back into focus with the natural wine movement, an orange wine does not have to be necessarily by definition natural, and a natural white wine does not have to necessarily be by definition an orange wine. So they're not, they do overlap, but they're not exclusive. And in fact, we're going to be talking about that in the video down below that we'll be talking about what exactly is natural wine. But in the meantime, I suggest you go and try out one for yourself. There are some excellent ones coming out of the area of Slovenia, the area of Italy, France, California. You can find them all over. Um, one of my favorites are sort of the Romatos coming from Friuli, or um, there are really, really great ones coming out of Slovenia. So those are my top picks, but let me know if you have a favorite orange wine down below. I can't wait to see them, to try them out, and I hope you guys enjoy.